Lowry, I think, is an absolutely beautiful theatre venue, and I think it's a dream for any actor to go there with any production to go and perform there. And the fact that I'm getting to go there with Boy in a Bed is brilliant because I absolutely adore the script and I adore everyone that I'm working with, so that's going to be amazing. I really enjoy playing Stella. She's intelligent, she's very rooted, she's very down to earth really, she knows what she wants. She knows what she's doing and she's on the right path to get it really and that really contrasts with Adam. My name's Adam and I'm funnily enough playing Adam in the play. Who doesn't know what he wants to do and he doesn't know what he wants so I think the dynamic between the two of them is really good and I really enjoy that. Because me and Adam, who plays Adam, we sort of bounce off each other. I feel like I can be a version of myself. I think he's very cheeky and he's, he's comedic. And as the play goes on, I, um, I dive into um, being quite serious. Well, there's no need to ask who you are. Let me introduce you. This is Adam. Hi. This is Taylor. He owns the gallery. So Jessica ran the gallery. Uh-uh. We run it together. You know... I almost didn't recognize you with your clothes on. Bet that isn't the first time you've heard that tonight. <laughs> it's been very interesting being cast in the role of Taylor because initially when the casting was sent out, it was sent out for someone who was actually a bit older. They wanted someone for an, an older gal of a gallery owner. But um, being cast in the role, what's happened is we've kind of taken the role back, made it, made it younger, a bit more fresh. And, it was, it was easy to see in the script how that would actually work for the character as well. It's fine. Nobody move. I can call a cab from my cell phone. Because he's from, from America, a challenge that has actually been, it's like, has been the American accent because a lot of people generally when they do shows they tend to go for the general American accent but it's just been thinking of how regional I want to make him so currently I've been trying to toy with Throwing a bit of New York or Boston kind of in there, but we've got to see how that actually goes and how well that will come out from the accent. But um, he's a very exciting and lively character to play. It's different when you see yourself on a wall in a room full of people. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I don't want to be here. You need to see it as a painting. I'm not like you. He's very much a, a smooth operator um, and he's very much in control of everything. Um, which I kind of liked, thought that was a nice challenge to sort of play someone like that um, who is quite damaged but doesn't want the world to show it so it's exploring it's exploring that sort of that darker side to human nature but with a with a with a an outward appearance of someone who's quite sorted so that, I think that there's quite a challenge in that. I've liked working with Alistair he's got some brilliant ideas and if we're stuck with a scene he gives us a game or an exercise. He doesn't tell us what he wants, he shows us, which I think is the best way to work, because you can say to do something, it's better to actually do it, because that's how you know. You know what you want by trying different things. In past things I've done, I've been uh, quite comedic, and it's quite an enjoyable experience being serious for once. Uh, Alistair always tells me to put my smile away. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very good, and I've really enjoyed the process so far. What I like about this is that it's it's not a very long story, but it's also not too short, and it r runs through very quickly to different scenes and different characters. But what we've done is each character has their own, you know, one's an architect, one's a runner, one's works in an art gallery, and by the end of the show, we'll have all their personalities together through the floor. There'll be there'll be rose petals, there'll be um, leaves for outside there'll be pieces of wood for the architecture and it'll all mix together. You just have to do modules, what's good, actually build the set itself. The experience so far I found quite challenging, you know, it's, uh, it's not been easy but I didn't expect it to be either and as a director sometimes we need to change, change how we want the set to look and stuff but you know, that's with everything. This production and the company offers me a lot of new opportunities. I mean, I've never been to Buxton Fringe Festival. Quite excited for that in July. Um, performing at the Lowry, of course. That's always good to go on your CV. I've never actually done a theatre tour before, so this is my first, and I'm really excited about it because we're going to some brilliant venues like the Lowry, 
I haven't performed there before and I'm quite glad to be doing it so soon after I've graduated. I feel really lucky to do that. The fact that it's going to the Lowry first and then on a tour is, is very exciting. Um, never done a, a piece of theatre at the Lowry before. Um, it's a place where everyone's heard of, so it's nice to sort of invite people um, who perhaps wouldn't go to, the to see me in Fringe Theatre to come see me at the Lowry. Um, then the tour, yeah, it sounds, it sounds like it's going to be very exciting. They're a really great cast and crew who we're working with, so everyone's getting on really well. It's just a lot of fun. It's great to see work in the real industry outside university and just doing short films. It's great to work with people who have got the experience and who know what they're doing. And, you know, it's a great experience overall. It's something to have on your CV and it's good to work with people that also people who are students who, who aren't like myself, who haven't had that much experience and um, you get to help one another and work, work well. And that's what I found here working with organised kids. And the fact that I know the play has a life after the Lowry is even better because it's always a little bit depressing when you start on a show and you know, oh, well, I'm only going to be doing it for two or three nights and then it's done. But we know that as soon as we've done the Lowry, we've then got Buxton to come along in July and then after that we've got our tour around the Northwest. So. It's nice to know that it's going to have life. It's always exciting and it keeps, I think it's going to keep the energy up as we pursue going along with it because we know we're not quite done with this yet. We can power through, we've got more to come, which is always brilliant.